Hi everyone, I am Nancy, your host for the Flex Alias RMS Playbook, Mastering Modern HR. In a previous video, we explored payroll management from the HR's perspective. Today, we will be shifting the focus and discussing it from the employee's point of view. What they experience and what they need, and how technology makes it smoother for them. You will find all the links to the previous episodes in the description box below. And as always, if you have any questions or need support, we are here to help. Now let's get started with today's topic. After login, the employee will be provided with detailed screen of the view payroll, where they will navigate with three sections: salary details, tax submission, and employee reimbursement. In the salary details section, it is divided into five sections, which are salary structure, salary slip, past salary structure, pay register, and tax comparison. These screens are not only visible to employees but also to the admin. In the salary structure, the employee can check their CTC, salary components distribution, and salary breakup. The salary components distribution will be represented through a pie chart with two visible options, which are reimbursement and salary. In the salary breakup, the employee will be provided with both monthly and annual breakdowns. Here they can view details such as basic HRA, special allowance, if any, and other components. You can download salary certificate easily. In the salary slips section, employees can view and download their salary slips. The available headings include payroll month, gross earning, gross deduction, net pay, and action. In the past salary structure. Section displays a graphical representation of the employee's salary history, starting from the year they joined the organization. In the payroll register section, it allows employers to review their earnings, deduction, differences, comparisons, and cross calculation for the selected financial year. The data is presented in the form of an Excel sheet. In the tax comparison section, employees can check if there has been any increase in the tax compared to the previous month. They can also raise a query with the admin who has access to view the tax structure as well. Moving forward in the tax submission section, employees are provided with two options, a tax calculator and a tax declaration. As mentioned in the payroll admin video, these features helps employees determine which tax regime is more suitable based on their salary structure. Please check the admin video for detailed use of a tax calculator and a tax declaration. We offer a tax calculator to help employee determine whether the old tax regime or the new tax regime is more beneficial for them. The calculator automatically collects data for the employee's salary structure. If the employees wish to include additional details such as tax saving options or declarations, they can easily add them manually. Once all relevant information is entered, the calculator will analyze the data and clearly show which tax regime is more advantageous for the employee. This feature supports informed decision making by comparing both tax regimes and providing personalized recommendation based on real-time salary data and user inputs. Tax declaration. In the tax declaration, after calculating the data using the tax calculator, the employee can proceed to the to fill out the tax declaration form. The selected tax regime is highlighted in the green for easy identification. Please note that once the tax regimes are selected, it cannot be changed. If the employee does not select the tax regime, the system will automatically assign the new tax regime as per the comment rules. This feature helps employees review their tax calculation and submit their tax declaration. It also ensures compliance by locking in the chosen tax regime and applying the default regime when no selection is made. All the components and rules which are PPF, health insurance, by government are already mentioned, they just need to choose and fill. In employee reimbursement section, then data comes with two tabs, the reimbursement submission and reimbursement history. In the reimbursement submission section, employee can claim the amount required for a specific purpose. The details of the reimbursement claim by the employee are displayed under the heading such as month, category, eligible amount, brought forward amount, Claimed amount, approved amount, 
rejected amount and action. To submit a new reimbursement request, the employee needs to click on new and fill in the categories month, eligible amount, vouchers or slips and any remarks if necessary. The eligible amount, brought forward amount, claimed amount, rejected amount, approved amount, carry forward amount and checker comments will be generated automatically. In the reimbursement history, to check and track the reimbursement process, the employee needs to enter the from month to month and component. After clicking on the search button, the relevant data will appear in the reimbursement history grid. That's how employees can navigate their payroll screens. We have more modules lined up to show you. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And also leave a comment. Stay connected with us for more updates.